Transgender Supergirl, TG Hero Series. My name is Clark, and by day, I'm just your average young man, blending into the bustling cityscape. But when the sun sets and darkness envelops the city, I undergo a remarkable transformation. I become Supergirl, a superhero with extraordinary powers. It all started one fateful night when I stumbled upon an ancient amulet hidden in the attic of my family's old house. Little did I know that this amulet held the key to my newfound abilities. As I touched it, a surge of energy coursed through me, and I felt an incredible strength and vitality. From that moment on, I became a different person when the moon rose high in the sky. As Supergirl, I donned a sleek costume that seemed to materialize from thin air, complete with a vibrant red cape that billowed behind me as I soared through the city. My powers were astonishing. I could fly with the grace of an eagle, and my strength knew no bounds. I could hear whispers from miles away and see through the thickest of walls. My first night as Supergirl was a whirlwind of discovery and excitement. I intervened in a mugging, saving a terrified couple from harm. With a swift swoop, I rescued a stranded kitten from a tree, earning the gratitude of a delighted child. I even thwarted a bank robbery, effortlessly stopping the criminals in their tracks. But it wasn't just about physical prowess. As Supergirl, I felt an overwhelming sense of responsibility to make the city a safer place. I listened to people's troubles, comforted the lonely, and inspired hope in those who had none. I became not only a symbol of justice but also a symbol of compassion. Maintaining my double life wasn't easy, though. I had to juggle my daytime job, personal relationships, and my newfound superhero duties. Keeping my secret identity was crucial to protect those I cared about. The constant balancing act took a toll on me, but I couldn't abandon my mission. As months passed, I encountered increasingly powerful adversaries, from menacing supervillains to cosmic threats. Each battle tested my resolve and pushed my abilities to their limits. But I never wavered, fueled by a deep desire to protect my city and its people. Being Supergirl wasn't just about flashy powers and epic battles, it was about the profound impact I could have on people's lives. I realized that true heroism wasn't just about physical strength. It was about empathy, kindness, and standing up for what's right. My life as Supergirl brought me not only the exhilaration of heroism but also a profound sense of self-discovery. As I faced the world as a woman during my nightly adventures, I couldn't help but reflect on the duality of my existence. By day, I was Clark, and by night, I was Supergirl. The contrast between the two became increasingly stark, and I found myself struggling with questions about my identity. It was during one particularly introspective night that I confronted a truth I had long buried. Being Supergirl felt liberating in a way that being Clark never had. When I transformed into Supergirl, I felt undeniably pretty and confident, qualities that had eluded me as Clark. It was as if I had discovered a part of myself that had been hidden away, a part one longed to express. The desire to become female both by day and by night grew stronger with each passing day. I began researching gender identity and speaking with therapists who specialized in gender-related issues. It was a daunting journey, filled with self-doubt and fear of how those around me would react. Opening up to my closest friends and family about my feelings was challenging, but I found that most of them were understanding and supportive. They encouraged me to explore my identity and discover who I truly was. With their help, I started taking small steps to express my true self during the day. I began by experimenting with clothing and makeup, slowly gaining confidence in my appearance. It was during these moments that I realized the power of self-acceptance and authenticity. I felt more comfortable in my own skin than I ever had before, whether I was Clark or Supergirl. However, the journey was far from easy. There were moments of doubt and anxiety, and I faced prejudice and discrimination from some quarters. But my experiences as Supergirl had taught me resilience and the importance of standing up for what I believed in. As I continued to explore my gender identity, I decided to seek medical guidance. With the support of medical professionals, I began hormone therapy to transition physically. It was a profound step, one that brought me closer to aligning my true self with my appearance. Over time, I became a girl during the day as well. 
My physical transition was a personal milestone, but it was the emotional and psychological transformation that truly defined my journey. I embraced my identity as a transgender woman with pride, and I continued my superheroic endeavors as Supergirl with a newfound sense of purpose. My story is one of self-discovery, resilience, and the transformative power of authenticity. By night, I was Supergirl, a symbol of strength and hope, and by day, I living my truth as a transgender woman. My journey was far from over, but with each day, I felt more confident, more authentic, and more myself than ever before. As the first transgender Supergirl, my journey garnered attention not only in my city but also around the world. News outlets and social media buzzed with stories of my transformation and my continued superheroic exploits. I became a symbol of inclusivity, breaking down barriers, and challenging the norms of what a superhero could be. The support I received was overwhelming. Many saw me as a trailblazer, a living testament to the fact that being true to oneself could lead to incredible personal growth and empowerment. I received countless messages from transgender individuals and their families, thanking me for being a source of inspiration and hope. However, as with any groundbreaking journey, there were also those who resisted change. Some critics questioned my legitimacy as Supergirl, citing my gender transition as a distraction from my heroism. But I was unwavering in my commitment to both identities. I believed that being true to myself only made me a better and more compassionate hero. In the midst of this public scrutiny, I continued my work as Supergirl. I tackled issues that were important to me and my community. I became an advocate for transgender rights and worked tirelessly to raise awareness about the challenges faced by transgender individuals, from discrimination to healthcare disparities. My identity as a transgender supergirl also brought about important conversations about diversity and representation in the superhero world. People began to question why there weren't more transgender superheroes in mainstream comics and movies. My story became a catalyst for change, pushing the industry to be more inclusive and representative of the diverse world we live in. I faced new challenges as a transgender superhero, but I embraced them with the same determination that had guided me throughout my journey. My dual identity allowed me to connect with people from all walks of life, reminding them that superheroes could come in all forms and identities. As time went on, I realized that my greatest superpower wasn't flight, strength, or the ability to see through walls, it was the power to inspire others to be true to themselves and to stand up for what they believed in. I knew that there were countless transgender individuals out there who, like me, were on their own journeys of self-discovery and acceptance. I was determined to be a beacon of hope for them, showing that they too could be superheroes in their own lives. My story as transgender supergirl was still being written, but I was ready for whatever challenges and adventures lay ahead. As I soared through the night sky, I carried with me the hopes and dreams of those who saw themselves in me, and I was determined to make a difference, one heroic act at a time.